New York Yankees fans, how's it going? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, como estas? The Yankees are still the Yankees, folks. But they let this game, I don't know, they gave the Phillies a win essentially by starting, let's pronounce his name right now. Let's pronounce the American names that he has. Cal Harris. Now, wait for it. He got Shioka. Cal Harris. He got Shioka by starting him. Okay, he has handed many, many pitchers in the minor leagues L's, particularly Chance Adams. Okay, he has handed him many L's catching him. So practically, the Yankees gave this game away. Sure, they got shut down three to zero, whatever. It was one of those games where, hey, the Yankees got shut down. I mean, really, once uh, the Phillies reliever uh, Dominguez came in, that guy's pretty nasty. I mean, the game was over right there. So, yeah, um, looking up and down this lineup, uh, the Yankees started Walker. They started Kyle Higashioka. So, really, folks, just looking at that lineup, the Yankees were just destined to lose. And it's really unfortunate because I could have saw the Yankees going on a hot win streak. They still can Walker's not one of those players, let's say, you take a chance with and wait till he busts out. Okay, Walker is a veteran. Walker is really on a thin string. If Walker doesn't perform, I can see him being DFA'd. I mention that because if you listen to my previous video, I state that Aaron Boone likes to give players a chance. He gave Jonathan Holder a chance. And look at the stat on Holder. Since April 21st, Holder has not allowed a run. In 23 appearances. That's the longest streak in the American League, folks, this season. So, giving players a chance like Holder pays off. I don't know if I can say the th same thing for Shree, but who knows? Maybe he'll improve. Obviously, the Yankees need a left-handed pitcher coming out the pen. That's what they're aiming for this deadline. So, if you ask me, Shree is gone. The Yankees want a really a tough left-handed pitcher coming out the pen. So let's talk about more possible trades at the deadline. The new or temporary GM of the Mets, Rico, stated that the Mets will be sellers. And Newsday, their front cover has DeGrom on the front. Hey, Yankees fans. Yankees fans, I'm telling you. The Mets are the type of organization to pick up a Gary Sanchez. I don't know about you guys, but I can see that. I can see that happening. I can see DeGrom on the New York Yankees. Now that uh, Sandy Alderson has stepped down due to cancer issues, uh, God bless his soul, I, I hope he uh, gets better from that. The Grom to the Yankees has a, I could say this, maybe a 50 to 60% chance of happening. The Yankees have all the pieces, and if the Yankees make Gary Sanchez available, I'll turn that 60% to 80%. The Yankees and the Mets match up well. The Mets are looking for position players. They are, they're always crying about, all oh, the Yankees have all these position players contributing. The Mets do not. The Mets will look to target position players under control that can contribute now on the major league level. What team has that? The New York Yankees. The Grom was what? 200 and something pick? It will be a good investment for the Mets. This guy was a high draft pick. He's paying off. And hey, if they do trade him, it was a good investment any way you slice it for the Mets. And we really can't say that about the Mets. They are a horrible organization. I mean, their history talks for itself. The difference between the Yankees and the Mets, you all saw with Cashman, he was ignoring Todd Frazier. The Mets signed Todd Frazier. I mean, look at that as a perfect example. Brian Cashman did not want to sign Todd Frazier, and the Mets did. And look how it's paying off. The Mets always do bad decisions. The Mets should listen to their fan base or the base of the Yankees. If we are willing to part ways with some of our prospects for DeGrom or some of our players, you guys should really listen to that. And if you guys don't, Mets front office, you just prove the fact that you are dumb yet again. The Yankees are a perfect trade partner with the Mets. The Mets want position players. The Yankees got it. So, I don't know, folks. The possibility of DeGrom coming to the Yankees is very high. Very high now that we hear Rico coming out and saying that the Mets will be sellers. Like I said, the Yankees have so many trade chips that they could get an ace and a catcher if they wanted to. They're going to have to, to be honest with you guys, adding another offensive bat in that lineup. And in my opinion, it should be a catcher. 
They're going to have to for the simple fact that the Red Sox are not slowing down. The Yankees just need to make moves for an ace or a catcher or another offensive player to completely bury the Red Sox. I know the Yankees prefer a left-handed pitcher, but if you could obtain the best uh, pitcher in the National League, I mean, you'd do it. And it's a common theme, folks. We're seeing it more often where a pitcher just gets older and his stuff just gets nastier. Uh, Morton, Verlander, and DeGrom, obviously. So I wouldn't worry about DeGrom's age. So, like always, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. What do you think of the Mets coming out now and saying that they will be sellers? Should the Yankees focus hard on obtaining the Grom or another ace you have in mind? Leave your opinions in the comment section below, folks. And like always, this has been Felix from LYNews.com. And don't worry about the Yankees being shut out. They practically gave that game away. Like always, this has been Felix from LYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next.